Okay, I'm settled in. Cars over there, and I'm going to be setting up my shelter and kit next to it. Got myself a cuppa. There's my mess kit over there. And the first order of business was to clean and sharpen my mora, which was covered in rust because I've forgotten to clean it after the last trip, which was at Bribey Island. And all I used was a bit of sandpaper. I'm sitting here chilling out with my friends. I hope you're not bringing fleas into the camp. You're bringing fleas into the camp? Okay, no fleas. Go on. Your mum's leaving you behind. Basic sort of A frame tent. Quite taut. And the good thing about these poles, because they're sectional, you can actually adjust the height. I've got um, on the two corners, I've got three sections, and on these middle ones, I've got four. But um, Lift this, bend one section, and I can lower it. And because the guy wires are done with tussock knots. I can adjust the tension in a matter of a second. So for example, the, um, the rain was coming in from this particular side. I could drop that side right down and keep the other one up. Prusik knots going down to the tent peg. So if I want to lift that back up again, I loosen that. Back up the 
I was. And again, check the tension, it's a little loose. All I need to do is slide that up. These corners have been fastened again with pressing knots around these posts. Okay, I've been here about three hours now. I've got my cot set up. And I've got the place to myself except for those workmen over there who are building the new toilet blocks. And it's just two of them, they got a generator and a chainsaw, but they're doing most of their work on the other side of that shipping container. So if I was down the other end, it would actually be noisier than what it is here. Because all the sound is traveling that way. It's on the other side of the shipping container, so I'm lucky. But that's my setup for the next couple of nights. I think I'll grab a couple of the um, fire logs and put them underneath so that I get a level sleeping platform. And sometime in the next couple of hours, hopefully some of the others will be here. Neil and his wife and uh, Luke Selick and I think uh, Neil's son and missus are going to be here as well, so there's plenty of space. Oh, my water's boiling. lunchtime snack some shell pasta the small ones and when that's done gonna mix in some onion and celery sauce tuna This is a spoon that I made last time I was here. Okay, pasta is done. What are you rubbing your hands for? You're not getting any. Go away. There you have it. This is a spoon that I made uh, a couple of years ago, last time I was here. And I decided to thin out the bowl because it was way too fat. And also work on the handle, skinny, skinny that up a bit. So I've been going at it for two hours now. And um, Hands can sore, but I'm getting there. I'm going to take out some more meat here. 
so that there's a bit more pronounced sort of curve. There's a native minor bird just walking around my foot. A pair of magpies just over there watching me. The kangaroo with a joey of left for the day, I'd say. When that generator is going, you sort of notice it in the background, but you can still hear the bird life. But then you don't realise how noisy the generator is until it's actually turned off. Magpie, magpie, and junior. What well, do you think you're missing out? Yeah? You think mum and dad are withholding food from you? 